In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate the Mass of the uh, Wednesday of the 28th Sunday of the year. And uh, we begin with a statement from St Paul uh, that really we have to have the Spirit in us. Um, Otherwise, uh, we reduce religion to a sort of set of uh, rules and regulations. Um, and since the Spirit is our life, he ends up, let us be directed by the Spirit. So perhaps um, we, we should ask a little bit more that the Holy Spirit enters into our life, that rather shadowy third person of the Blessed Trinity, and guides us. Prayer to the Holy Spirit it might be very appropriate. We call to mind uh, the fact that uh, uh, we are weak, we do need God's rules and regulations, but we also pray for the Spirit that gives us strength and courage to do it well. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. I celebrate this Mass for Elizabeth and Peter Sledge, who are both sick. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Galatians. If you are led by the Spirit, no law can touch you. When self-indulgence is at work, the results are obvious. Fornication, gross indecency and sexual irresponsibility, idolatry and sorcery, feuds and wrangling, jealousy, bad temper, quarrels, disagreements, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies and similar things. I warn you now, as I warned you before, those who behave like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness and self-control. There can be no law against things like that, of course. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. The response. Anyone who follows you, Lord, will have the light of life. Anyone who follows you, Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Anyone who follows you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. 
anyone who follows you, Lord, will have the light of life. <clears throat> not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Anyone who follows you, Lord, will have the light of life. Ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah. Instruct me, Lord, in your way, on an even path lead me. Ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> The Lord said to the Pharisees, Alas for you Pharisees, you who pay your tithe of mint and rue and all sorts of garden herbs and overlook justice and the love of God. These you should have practised without leaving the others undone. Alas for you Pharisees who like taking the seats of honour in the synagogues and being greeted obsequiously in the market squares. Alas for you because you are like unmarked tombs that men walk on without knowing it. A lawyer then spoke up. Master, he said, when you speak like this, you insult us too. Alas for you lawyers also, he replied, because you load on men burdens that are unendurable, burdens that you yourself do not move a finger to lift. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Lord had to be very forthright with the Pharisees and the, uh, the lawyers, that is the, um, as it were, the canon lawyers of the time, the religious law lawyers, um, because they were absolutely armoured in their self-righteousness. You know, we are, the, we are the true ones, we keep all the rules. And the rabble out there, they're all damned, you know, that sort of idea. Our Lord said, no, it's not like this in God's eyes. You just put burdens upon people. Sure, rules and regulations, our Lord said, are necessary. You should have done the bits that are prescribed. But you should have done it with heart, with love as we heard in the first reading. And justice, you are pressing people to support your own sense of importance and control. So, I, 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 there's always a little bit of a rule there for us as well. Yes, we should do the proper rules and regulations of our religion. We, we, we need the container but that's not the center of it. The center of it is something led by the Holy Spirit. And it results in those beautiful things that we heard in the first reading. When we practice the love and justice with the power of the in the power of the Holy Spirit. Without that, we won't do it. Things like this happen in our lives. We're loving, we're joyful, we're peaceful, we're patient kind, good, trusting, gentle, and we have self-control. Gosh, I'm still working at it myself. I need more of that Holy Spirit. So I pray. <coughs> In our little communities, that we of Grange, Millthorpe and Arnside, <clears throat> that we practice the Holy Spirit. We, we welcome the Holy Spirit to 
change our lives to make us into those people who stand out for God's ways of love and justice. Lord, hear us. We pray for all of those who, because of some harshness in the practice of faith, have been put off faith. We pray that they will realise that God is there, a loving God, and wants them to come to him. Lord, hear us. We pray uh, for ourselves and for our need. We pray for the sick, the intention of this Mass. We pray for those who have died, that they may come home into the arms of a loving God. Lord, hear us. And I pause and I'm sure you have many other intentions for yourself and perhaps for other people, your family, your friends. Just hold them up, those persons, to God now in this sacred moment as we celebrate spiritually the Mass together. Lord, hear all our prayers. Grant what is good. We put our trust in your love and mercy, you who live and reign for ever and ever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit of God, Lord, be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate <clears throat> the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.